Hey guys, welcome to Six Minutes. Um, kind of a different six minutes today. Uh, just finished with the Georgia State Tournament. And um, yeah, I kind of thrown a few curveballs uh, over the last few days. Uh, inability to get on the floor to, to cover the tournament. Really couldn't watch much of the matches, that sort of thing. Take pictures and that sort of thing. So um, Cody Parker, uh, Georgia Grappler, and myself, decided to make uh, lemonade out of lemons and try to power through and still be able to, to, you know, be involved with what's going on and provide some information. So what we have is following, I'm going to cut off here in just a second, and you will see a series of conversations, uh, quick interviews with some of the different champs, most of the different champs from uh, the Georgia State Tournament. Um, I'm going to do this by classification. So uh, this will be one particular classification, flip to another one to see another classification of the champions and their thoughts and feelings after wrestling their state finals and uh, coming out on top. Congratulations to everybody who wrestled this weekend and um, best of luck uh, moving forward. Go. Zion Hall, Willard High School, 170. And state champ. State champ. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel? It feels good. It's just a lot of you know hard work that's been put in. So I just feel like you know now that I'm here, a lot of pressure just being lifted off my shoulders. So yeah, excited. Yeah. yeah. So it was second last year. Yeah, second in a close one. I should have won it, but yeah, I just got second. I just you know couldn't. So couldn't so the there. feeling like that relief. Yes, it was that relief. That was relief, and then you know just knowing that just. I guess the wondering, like, I was like wondering if my hard work was enough, you know, but, you know, just to be out there and realize I just dominated every opponent and just work, especially on my strong position, just to be able to dominate every opponent, I realized that my hard work has paid, paid off. So that's a lot of, you know. So you got McCloskey again in the finals. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, was there like a specific game plan or was it really, you know, you've wrestled him before. So. Yeah. So I wrestled him the first time. And then I would just, let's, honestly, I would just wasn't on my game. I still beat him, but I wasn't on my game. So I knew this one, I had to come out strong because he's like, he's super strong. If you haven't wrestled him, he's just super strong. Uh -huh. And so I knew on my feet, you know, just moving side to side, get him moving and stepping heavy. You know, he's a little slower on his feet. And so that just played into my game. Just able, you know, to take him down over and over. All right. So so a couple of years ago, I think uh, RJ Wesson reached out to yeah. me and said, you know, you know, you better watch out. Zion yeah. Hall is coming. Yep, yep, yeah. yeah. So, um, Love RJ. Yeah. So uh, the question I have, it's so um, the last question is, doesn't look like you're cutting a lot of weight. No. No? No. no. All right. I'm so, understand. I looked at every other 170. I was like, I'm the smallest one. <laughs> Definitely the smallest one. So, so what? Uh, what? Um, uh, what's the celebration dinner tonight? Texas Pro House. We decided with the team. It's Texas Pro House tonight. All right. Yeah. So, All right. What are you getting there? Big I steak? don't know yet, but I'm ready for the rolls. It's the rolls that I'm looking forward to, like the butter rolls with yeah. like, uh, sugar and cinnamon. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Congrats, Ian. Thank you. My name is Jacob Belindez. I am 113 at South Effingham High School. All right, Jacob, uh, tell me how that match went today. It was pretty good from the start. He got he got the first takedown, rolled me out for the beginning. Uh, then in the second period, I got down. I, I chose the bottom, and I just worked to get an escape. But uh, I got a couple stall points for him, so I was enough. And then third period, it was just, I can't even remember if I'm being Hey, honest. that's all right. That's all right. All I remember is coming up, being up, I think, 4-3, and just coming down to the wire and just hitting the headlock to win. Awesome. Just in the zone, right? Yeah. All right. And how are you feeling now? I feel excited. I'm awesome. so happy. It's, very, it's, a good, it's a great feeling. You got any plans for dinner tonight? Something in particular? We're getting a bunch of pizza and a bunch of desserts. There we go. All right. You're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? I'm Madden Sanker. Class 2023, I go to South Palm High School. Uh, I'm heavyweight, and I just want to stay. That's great, man, and uh, take me through your match a little bit if you could. Uh, man, I've wrestled this kid over and over again. It was the fifth time I was wrestling. Uh, he caught me at region, uh, messed up on my part, but he collapsed, or he he found a way to pull it out, man. So uh, this match, I came in with a game plan. Got to stay away from those underhooks. That's, that's, that was the main thing. Uh, stick to the game plan. Got a turn on top. The rest is history. That's great. And how are you feeling right now? I feel pretty good. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I bet. But... <laughs> That's, that'll be my last question. But I got another question after that. We know you're probably be playing college football somewhere. Um, yep. Obviously, we need you to be a Georgia Bulldog. But, uh, <laughs> you have any idea right now? You got any any closed down to a few schools or anything like that? Or uh, no, I'm I'm still I'm still open, man. Uh, I'm gonna take some visits in the spring and summer, and, and I'm just gonna take it from there. But right now, I'm just enjoying it, uh, enjoying the recruiting, and 
I mean, we'll see where I'm playing in a, about a year. Cool, cool. And uh, like I said, the most important question is uh, what's on the game plan for food tonight? Oh, man. Dog, I don't even know, man. Right after the match, some, I need a burger, man. Something <laughs> hit me. I don't know if I'm going to get a fast food burger. I'm going to go sit down someplace, but uh, I need some ground beef. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, uh, congratulations and thanks for coming out. Joey Robinson, 160, Pope High School. And state champion? State champion. <laughs> All right. So, how's it feel, man? Uh, feels good. Yeah? Did it go the way you thought it would go? Uh, no. I didn't think that I was going to... I didn't think it was going to be that close. Okay. All right. I had to get a takedown in the last two seconds of the match. And how did that feel? Uh, felt good. Yeah? It always you, feels good to were you, win the were you, ones. Were you nervous? Were you thinking about it? Like, yeah, I was nervous before the match. Even in the first first couple minutes, or like the first minute of the match, I was nervous. Okay. But then, as the match went on, I started, the nerves went out. The nerves went away. Mm -hmm. so you had a tough bracket. Yes, sir. You know, was it, uh, were you thinking about that, or was it focused on one match at a time? One match at a time, always. All right, all right, awesome. So, are you cutting any weight? No, I was not. You're not cutting I any was, weight? Always under the... So, celebration dinner. Celebration dinner, of course. What is it going to be? Um, Do you, you probably, don't have anything probably planned? Some, probably some buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. Never can go wrong with buffalo wings. All right, cool. Awesome. I'm Logan Webster, weight class 220. I'm a senior at Sequoia High School. Awesome, Logan. Uh, take me through your match a little bit, if you could. Uh, I'm going. I knew I was going into a tough match. You know, I was going to definitely have to go six minutes here. Guy had uh, big, strong hips, so I knew I was going to have to sweep to the side, tire him out. I knew I could gas him out a good bit. So I'm just, I'm in there. I get the takedown, first takedown. And uh, I'm sitting there. I'm a little gas. I'm not going to lie. Big moment for me. So I'm sitting there. I'm working. I'm, I'm pushing the pace. I took three shots. I didn't finish. He gets hit with a warning stall call. We just keep going in the match. He eventually gets hit with another stall call. It's up. I'm up 3-0. I go bottom. I get up. It's 4-0. We, uh, <clears throat> he gets up one time, and then he gets up again. So it's 4-2. You know, last 10 seconds of the match, he gets in on a good shot. I'm fighting, I'm defending real hard. The last couple seconds, ran out of time, I, I got the dub. I'm awesome, awesome, man, that's great. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. I, I just, I'm just so glad all this hard work paid off. You know, two long years of going from someone who couldn't even make it out of sectionals to be a state champ. I mean, that's pretty big for me. That's awesome, that's great growth. That's gotta be a good feeling. Um, now, the biggest question is, what, uh, what are we eating tonight? What are we eating tonight? We, we're definitely getting a Big Mac from McDonald's. I'm not, I'm not a big classy man, but I love me a Big Mac from McDonald's, that's for sure. Okay, okay, awesome. Well, congratulations, man, and uh, thanks for coming out. Appreciate I'm Maddox it. MacArthur from Buford, Georgia, 16 years old, Russell 120. All right, Maddox, and winning the state title. First one, freshman year. All right, how'd it feel? Felt great. Uh, had a lot of nerves going in, just knowing I was the favorite to win as being a freshman. Yeah. But was glad to keep my composure and get out of the win. So how did the match go? Did it go the way you, you hoped it would, or? Um, I think it went okay. I wish I was able to open up a little bit more, but I think I spent a little bit too much time warming up uh, for my first state title, but okay. besides that, it went pretty well. All right, awesome. And the last question is, uh, we're just asking something fun. Mm -hmm. You been cutting a little weight? A little bit, not too bad. Not too bad? Uh, Do you have anything special planned for a celebration dinner? Gonna go get an ice cream or something good. All right, man, congratulations. Hi, my name's Colin Kane. I'm the 145 pounder at Cambridge High School. State champion? Yes, sir. You forgot that part. State champ at Cambridge High School. <laughs> so, uh, first, state title. Yes, How's sir. it feel? Feels great. Uh, a lot of work put into this. It feels good for it to really pay off. Yeah. Did the, uh, I, did the finals go? I didn't get to really watch it, but you came back, right, to win? Um, no? Honestly, I'm not sure, but that guy beat me at state duels, pinned me earlier. Oh, really? So, really put a chip on my shoulder, got me working in practice. Worked some new moves and executed and got it done. Awesome, awesome. So uh, your uh, older brothers give you any, any tips coming yeah, into this weekend? a lot of texts coming from them. <laughs> My brother actually just came out with a big win against Virginia Tech. And so it was just kind of keeping the momentum going, trying to do what I know I can do. Yeah, awesome. So um, last question. So we're asking everybody, uh, you been cutting any weight at all or no? Two Not really. Pounds. Okay, nothing. Uh, nothing. So still, celebration dinner? Oh, yeah. What is it? Uh, I'm going... Steak, baby. Steak. It's a big steak dinner. All right. Congratulations, Cole. I'm Joshua McCutcheon, uh, the class of 2022. I wrestled 195 at Valdosta High School. And uh, take me through your match a little bit, if you could. Um, so the match started off kind of like just to get a feel at first. And then um, once I got the first takedown, I knew that this was going to be my match because once I take someone down and 
I get in my position on top. I know my go-to is top is to tilt people to score. So my mindset was once I took them down was to score points on top and just go go crazy. Awesome, awesome. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling excited. I'm, I'm re like I'm ready for another match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next year you're going to be at Gardner Webb. Why don't you tell us a little bit how uh, how excited you are for college? Um, college, I'm I'm ready for the level of like the, le the, ra the level of wrestling that's going to be there in the competition. I know it's going to be amazing and it's going to be like out of this world. I'm just stoked and excited to get there. That's great. That's great. And uh, as far as food goes, what are we eating tonight? Uh, probably a big, big dinner. Probably go to somewhere expensive, maybe. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Well, congratulations, man. And thanks for coming on yes, out. Sir, thank you. Hey, I'm Drew Gorman, Buford High School, 126 pounds. Uh, tell me about your match. Take me a little bit. Uh, I wrestled the kid two times earlier in the year. We both split matches. He um, he beat me the second time. I beat him the first time. Uh, he's good, really good at reattacks. Really good, like side to side motion. Very good wrestler. He's senior, strong. But, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And tell me how you're feeling now after that win. Uh, feel great. Uh, ready to win three more there freshman year. Ready to do a lot of other things too. Awesome, so. awesome. And tell me uh, how Coach Gill and uh, how Coach Schieber smell that. Uh, they uh, they're pretty good coaches. Uh, pretty good humor. Fun to joke around with. I like them a lot. Awesome. Hopefully they stick around. So. Awesome, awesome. And uh, tell me what you got on your mind for food tonight. Uh. Like wings a lot, so probably go get wings with the team. So awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for coming out, man. My name is uh, Rylan Eibold. I uh, wrestle in six A. I go to Buford High School. I wrestle one hundred six. All right, and Rylan, um, you know this is uh, this is your second state title. This is my second. Yeah. So so how does it feel? Does it feel different from last year? Uh, I don't want to say it feels better, but it's a different kind of feeling when you're second one than your first one, because you know how special it is. But you've been there before at the same time, so yeah, I wouldn't say it's better or worse, but it's a different kind of feeling. Did uh, did the match go according to the plan? It did. It uh, I ended up hitting him in the second period, which I I knew he was strong on his feet, so I wanted to get on top somehow. I ended up getting a last second takedown in the first in the first period, and then uh. Locked up a bar in the second and pinned him. That's exactly how I wanted it. All right, and like we're gonna ask everybody, like, have you been cutting weight? And if you I have, have, what do you, <laughs> you, what are you gonna eat tonight? Uh, I think I'm gonna stop by Waffle House and then I'm gonna go to Steak and Shake and give me a milkshake. Oh, what kind? Ooh, either peanut butter and chocolate or strawberry, one of two. All right. My name's Andrew Corey. I go to Creekview High School and I weigh 152 pounds. And Andrew, you left out the biggest part. You are a two-time state champion. Three times. Three times state champion. See what I did there? I'm sorry. Totally sorry about that. Um, three times state champ. So, any different this year? No, I, I don't think so. This year kind of felt like, I don't know, it felt like I did it past two years. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Any nerves walking in? Like, no, like I, expectations? or? I, I attacked the kid in the sectional finals or sectional semifinals, so... I was pretty confident myself. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, uh, did did uh, the tournament went how you expected? And yes, it did. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then the last question is: You, you don't look like you're cutting much weight. I'm not. No. Uh, all right. So, like is there still a, a, a celebratory dinner or anything oh, like that? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is it? Soda, steak. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be. I'm gonna stop at McDonald's on my way home. I know that for sure. Okay. And then what are we ordering if we hit stop at McDonald's? Uh, Probably two big, probably two number one meals, a nice large Coke. All right. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. All right. Uh, Darren Rochester, a wrestler from Van Austin High School, weight class 132, Division 6A. Tell me about uh, how your match went today in the finals. Um, it went great. I wrestled very good. I felt like the dog came out of me, even though I'm a wildcat. All right. Awesome, awesome. And, uh, yeah, matches your team name, right? Yes, sir. Uh, and then uh, tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling good, man. I never felt any... any I never felt better than this as I'm feeling right now, man. It took me all four years, man. I got second as a freshman, kicked off last year, and kicked off the year before. I needed this. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, tell me what you got on your mind for food tonight. Man, I ain't even worried about food. It, it sounds crazy, but I, I just want to keep wrestling. Awesome. Consistent. I love it, man. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. Okay. My name is David Tanone. I'm a 6A, 138 GHSA state champ this year. And what school were you looking at? Lasseter High School, and I'm going to Belmont Abbey next year. Awesome, awesome. And uh, take me through the match a little bit. 
Well, started out, I knew it was going to be a tough kid going in. I wrestled him last week, went into overtime. So I just knew I had to keep the pace going right away. Started out getting my points, and that's what I did. Got a quick take down in the beginning, let him up, got one more. Felt really good. Going into the second, I knew just have to keep it going, kept it going as much as I could. And then once I had that good lead, just held on, made it happen. Awesome, awesome. And tell me how you're feeling right now. Senior year, finishing out with a nice state title, right? Feels amazing. I was going into this year really confident. And then just had to keep putting in the work, following the game plan, made it happen. And awesome. that's three now, right? Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. And uh, tell me what you got on your mind for food tonight. Food? Ooh, a lot of stuff. I'm thinking if Dippin' Dots is still open, I'm going there now. Chicken tenders later, getting everything. Then some Waffle House tonight, too. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff. Thanks for coming. I'm Jackson Wakeland. I go to Glen Academy. I'm a senior, and I wrestle in 182. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, take me through your match a little bit. So I was wrestling against one of my uh, one of my buddies who goes to school right across from us. Uh, we're about two and a half miles apart. His name is Leon Charlton. Um, I've wrestled him for this is my fifth time wrestling him this season. Me and him have brawled all year long. Um, two times it's gone into the third period. One time um, I pinned him early in the year, and then I just pinned him now. We went in the third period, and I pinned right at the end. Um, he's just an outstanding wrestler, and I had to wrestle a hard match, hard three periods with him. Um, very tough kid, tough kid, got a strong double eight, so I had to play real real safe on the hips. And uh, had to, I knew that my gas tank was better. I've been better in my gas tank for the past two years. That's how I won last year. Um, and I just knew that if I stuck to my game plan and I uh, played the long game and I kept my hips good and stayed moving, then I could do it, and I did it. That's great, man. And tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling ecstatic. Um, this I've only been wrestling since uh, freshman year. Um, I knew I, I got hooked on it as soon as I started doing it um, and I knew that with all the hard work that I put in that if I wanted it and if it was God's will that I'd be there and I did it. That's great man and uh, tell me what you got uh, as far as plans for dinner tonight. Plans for dinner? First stop, ice cream. Ice cream. Big ice cream guy. He's been making weight, staying healthy foods all year long. I need my ice cream. Um, but other than that I'll probably just have probably just um, some some meat and potatoes, something like that. Something with some good carbs, good uh, red blood cell count. Good stuff, um, man. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations and uh, thanks for coming out. Thank you.